Subscribe our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook, visit our website. Hi, good day. In this Kernels video, I would like to share with you what's new on SQL Apparel. Ready? Go! Do you know that? Soxo will take over the compensation for foreign workers covering by the Employment Engineering Scheme only. The coverage of Soxo Employment Engineering Scheme will only take effect after the expiry of foreign workers compensation scheme coverage. Now, let me assist you on a simple setting in SQL Payroll. Step 1. Go to Payroll, Maintenance, Maintain Wages. To change or add the wages type for foreign workers, under Contribution, take SOXO to Contribute, click here to Save. Step 2. Go to Maintain Employee, edit the relevant foreign worker, then under Payroll Info tab, Update the SOSO type as second category, save and done. When maintain new joint foreign worker by antique resident, system auto update SOSO type as second category and EIS type to know with EIS category as foreign workers. Here's the result of foreign workers also in man and payroll. And by a simple click, you're able to generate SOXO online submission file from SQL Payroll. Do you know that? There's a revision on new EPF minimum statutory rate for employees aged 60 years old and above. Employer EPF rate reduced from 6% to 4% and employee not to contribute EPF. In SQL Payroll, Maintain Contribution, default had preset employee and employer EPF rate as A for auto EPF. Then system will automatically detect the age based on the above setting in Maintain Employee for a set EPF changes. SQL Payroll had also automatically detect no EPF contribution for senior citizen age that has attained 75 years old according to KWSP EPF age. You may change or add new contribution with insert the rate accordingly to replace auto EPF. And by a simple click, you're able to generate EPF online submission file from SQL Payroll. Do you know that? Kindly take note of these changes when you file your personal income tax of year 2019. There will be a separate tax relief category specifically for life insurance. Up until year 2018, Tax relief for EPF and life insurance was combined as a single category worth up to 6000 But effective on 1st January 2019, an individual will be eligible for 4000 EPF contribution tax relief plus 3000 life insurance tax relief. Do I need to preset anything in SQL payroll? The answer is no. By upgrade version for SQL Payroll, system will automatically capture maximum 4000 for EPF tax relief. And the new tax relief category for life insurance is updated too. Relief loss for those who do not buy life insurance. TP1 form is required for employee who declare tax relief in monthly payroll. And the TP1, TP2, TP3 form is ready to print from SQL Payroll. Essentially, tax relief of loan interest not applicable effect from 1st January 2019. But there's another new tax relief of retired civil servant life insurance which can claim with EPF relief together. Only allow claim either one for pensionable public sector employee. Do you know that? Submission of EIS Lampiram 1 via managing media for bank as listed is ready. EA and EC form is ready. 
And with additional batch email module, you can now send to individual employee just by a single click. And with password protection encryption too. Submission of our HDME data proxy and CP80 form via magnetic media is ready. Do take note that no need to submit both. It's required to submit either one to our HDN. You may also get Borang E from SQL payroll. SQL E leave is a new useful additional module which allow employee to apply leave and get updates through their mobile. And now, for SQL user that strictly operate on the desktop, the SQL payroll for desktop able to synchronize very easily with the SQL eLeaf apps. We strongly encourage all users to be alert and perform the necessary updates when prompted to avoid any penalties. Frequent updates will also ensure that your application works smoothly. If you have any questions or if we can further assist you in any way, please contact your local agent. That's all for this video. Thank you and have a nice day. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest videos. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.